Hi everybody, welcome back to another video and for today it is my birthday and for today I'm going to talk about the news what I grew up with. So, um, so let's just get started with the news what I see, um, what I grew up with. I'm not going to tell you how old I am because it's my entire business. But, um, let's talk about my first movie I ever watched was... Um, I should drop this out a dead well. The first no. The first of Elmo and Grouch Train. This is not my original one. Drop this out a dead well. There is your DVD. Um, I grew up with this movie, and um, I loved it. I think they done a good job with the movie. Watching it now, I still love it. I'll, I'll kind of watch it much every day. Not that much. I think my last time watching this was back in December. But I'm not like one of those person who watches this every day. And I know that job did. I love the songs. I think they done the songs. I love the cast in the movie. Um, mostly the songs I like now. Do mostly every movie now, but I do love this. Second one, actually, got this last year when it came out, is the Diamond Edition of the Widow Mermaid. I love this movie. Um. Um, when I was little, I actually went to Denzi and I, well, I saw Ariel and I was happy. Um, I love this movie. White. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one faster than this one. I don't know how it went. But yes, I love this movie and yes, I actually would watch this much every day. Um... I know this this um actually watched the DVD with the guys do I know this this but I love this like I think they done a good job of this movie um the cast the people who's in the movie like this movie done a good job um I don't really like the sequel that much but this one I beat. I like the third one. The third one is really good. Um, but yeah, Diamond Edition, Diamond Edition of the Red Old Mermaid. If you guys don't have it, I'm, they'll pick it up. Why right not for this video? They'll pick this up if you guys don't have it. Which I'm pretty sure everybody heard of this movie, so they'll pick it up. Next up is one of my best favorite movies you can see by my shot. Let me follow the movie what I love, and this one will be in any movie. Corpse Bride. I love this movie, and let me tell you guys, I watch this movie every day, every night. Don't worry, girl. I watch this movie. Um, the people who's in the movie, the cast: Johnny Depp, who plays Victor; Helen Bartow, who plays Emily. That's right on the farm. There's Victor right there and how about to And we have traps <coughs> from the makers of Nightmare Before Christmas and Edward Scissorhands. I love both of them, but I never grew up with them, so I can't really talk about them. But the people in the cast that everything about this me is good. Um I wish they can come out with a sequel, Cops Bride 2, but um, it always turns into butterflies at the end of me. So we don't know, maybe, maybe not. But so far, no. This may come in 2005, but they're doing it to every Denzel movie now. They're making the live action one. I'm pretty sure they did make the live action one of this. I saw it on Netflix, but I don't know if it's a real one or if it's just a fake one, but I'm pretty sure they did. 
I don't know. But Corpse Bride is one of the best movies. This will never be any day. Yeah. Um, next up is one of my own favorite movies. This will, um, this one and the one I'm about to show you. Monster House. Monster House is a good movie. I love it. The cast, the people who's in there, everybody who's in this was so good. These two will never be anything. But Monster House is a good movie. Um, I love the people. I love everybody in the movie. Um, I think for me they need to make the part too. But of course, this may come out in 2006. We don't know. But, um, I love this movie so much. Um, we have DJ Shadow and Chinny. And we have the house in the background with some trees. Um, if you guys want to walk on the bat, there's your bat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love, love this movie. Um, yes. Um, 91 minutes long, so, the funny thing about, I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes, my star says I don't run, the last one, I kind of grew up with this movie, kind of not, it's a lot better, and this general other one, showing a chocolate factory, which this isn't necessarily, um, Showing the Chocolate Factory is a lot better in the really want than the Chocolate Factory. A lot better, a lot good. Um, I felt like this is really good. They kind of change a lot of stuff, but more creepy because it is Johnny Depp. And much of all, all the Johnny Depp movies are scary, so what kind of scary? Um, but, love this me. I'll pick this up if you guys don't have it. I don't know if they... There's your DVD. Wow. Um, so all these movies... When I watch them... Now... Let me put John the Chocolate Factory in the picture. When I watch these movies now, they do fast. Right, um, watch it for Cop Spy. When I watch it, it's all over. Like, for me, it's like 30 seconds, boom, it's done. But, um, if you haven't seen none of these movies, if you haven't seen none, none, none of these movies, I'm out more with the. The Widow Mummy, Monsters, Shari, and Hop Spride. They'll put them up. Now, I did hear, um, I think it's in the morning times they did Shine the Chocolate Factory. In the night times they did Hop Spride. Because this movie actually did come out in 2005. Both of them actually came out in 2005. So, um, this needs to have a sequel. Say it, and I also need to put this on Netflix, but you never know. But, um, yes, um, I love every one of these movies of all of them. Wow, wow, um, there you guys do. Um, but thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Comment what out of. Out of, out of all five of these, what is your favorite one? Is it Corpse Bride, Elmo, The Fortress of Elmo and Grouchy, The Widow Mermaid, Monster House, or Shari and Chocolate Factory? Um, But yeah, tell me a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Have a good night today. I love you guys. See you later.